Hello, and welcome back to another story time with Miss Katie. Today I have a special story time because I'm going to dedicate it to the school librarian at Valeska Hinton because this was my son's favorite book she read to his class this year. Every year she does a ladybug award at their school, and this year the week of voting was to take place the very first week that schools were canceled due to the virus. So the one thing my son has repeatedly said he's missed about school the entire time is he didn't get a chance to vote for his favorite book for the Ladybug Award. So today I'm going to read it to all of you and thank you to Mrs. Jacobs at Valeska Hinton for making sure all of your students have an appreciation for reading. So today I have Pancakes and Pajamas, or Pancakes and Pajamas, I apologize, by Frank Ash. And it is published by Aladdin Books, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing. Pancakes in Pajamas. One Saturday morning at breakfast, Baby Bear said, This is so much fun. You know what I wish? I wish we could stay in our pajamas and eat pancakes all day long. I think that's a great idea, said Papa Bear. Me too, said Mama Bear. What happens now, asked Baby Bear as he helped clear the table. We can do lots of things, said Papa Bear. I'd like to go back to bed, said Mama Bear. Me too, said Papa Bear. And read stories, cried Baby Bear. Back in their big cozy bed, Mama and Papa Bear read tales about timid tigers and fishy goldfish, penguins that couldn't find their suspenders, and polar bears in spaceships looking for a new planet until they all fell sound asleep. Baby Bear was first to open his eyes. Wake up, Mama! Wake up, Papa, he cried. Gosh, it sure was a busy week, said Papa. I really needed that nap. Me too, said Mama. Me three, said Baby Bear. After their nap, the Bear family played board games and threw cards into a hat. Oh, those are some of my favorite things to do with my family, too. Then they took a long walk in the park. You guys been taking long walks while you've been home? I've enjoyed doing that too. At the playground, Mama Bear played with Baby Bear on the swings, and Papa Bear played with him on the seesaw. That's always a lot of fun too if you get to do that. Then they rode bikes all over town. Have you ever ridden your bike around town in your pajamas? I haven't, but it sounds like a fun idea. All this fresh air and exercise makes me hungry, said Papa Bear. Me too, said Mama. Me three, said Baby Bear. Let's stop at Pete's Pancakes for lunch, said Papa Bear. Eat Pete's Pancakes. Tell me, asked Pete when he brought them their pancakes, why are you all wearing your pajamas and riding bikes today? Is it some kind of holiday? I guess you might say it's pancakes in pajamas day, said Papa Bear. That's right, said Mama Bear, and we're part of the bicycle parade. That sounds like fun, said Pete. If you wait a minute, I'll ask my wife and kids and we'll join you. As the Bear family rode through town, family after family put on their pajamas and joined the Pancakes in Pajamas Day Parade. Ooh, now sounds like a perfect time for us to do that too. Maybe you and your family can do that one day. When the parade reached the town square, what's going to happen when it reaches town square? Hey. Everyone enjoyed an incredible edible pancakes in pajamas party. Look at that. And I see a giant 
giant pancake right there. That's the biggest pancake that I've ever seen. On the way home, Baby Bear fell fast asleep in his bicycle seat. What a wonderful day we had, said Papa Bear as he carried Baby Bear up to his bed. I hope we can do this again sometime soon. Me too, said Mama Bear. Me three, murmured Baby Bear. And the cat says, meow. The end. So I hope you enjoyed Pancakes and Pajamas, which, like I said, is one of my son's favorite books that he's reading right now, and so I'm glad I got to read it with all of you today. Um, maybe you and your family can have a Pancakes and Pajamas Day soon and get your whole neighborhood involved in riding bikes and pajamas. Perfect time for it. Um, before we go, let's sing our goodbye song with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, and I'll see you guys again another time, okay? Bye!